Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Crunk Girl 711, bringing you a new video. I know it's been a while, it's been a minute, but I'm back with some gaming shit. It is the day before Christmas. Um, I think it's like 8 something in the morning. That's in the morning. It's 8, like 7 or 8, maybe. Matter of fact, I don't even think it's that damn, uh, it's that damn late. Um, yeah, it's like 5 something, my bad. But, um, I want to do a video real quick, man. Uh, want to do a video about this little guy right here. This Vita. Um, for anybody who, uh, is getting a Vita for the child, for the teenager, or for themselves, and kind of want to know what games are out there to get for it, yeah, I'm your girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on some games that I feel like are pretty good damn games. They're not, I'm gonna also talk about some couple of indie titles that I've been playing that I actually like. And some that I, I probably have missed, and y'all gotta let me know what games are y'all playing on the Vita right now. Um, and cause you know there's the stigma. There are no Vita games. There's no games. There's no game. Like, I'm tired of hearing that. I got plenty of shit to play. Um, I got plenty of games to play right now. You know what I'm saying? That keeping me busy for a long ass time. And like I've told everybody, this thing right here, great for RPGs. Um, it is fantastic for the RPGs, yo. Um, but let's get started. Um, first off, I'm gonna go with my favorite game on this console. Persona 4 Golden. Um, Persona 4 Golden is really good. It's a revamp of the actual Persona series that's only been on PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? From Persona 1 all the way up to Persona 5, which is coming out next year, which I put on this channel that it, they had, uh, Put in for the trademark for Persona 5 and the dot com up for it. Like I told y'all it was coming. But I'm a little pissed that they did not bring Persona 5 to the Vita. They brought a dancing game. But the 3DS gets it. That's kind of weird. This is the best. This is like the top three games on the system. And you don't and you don't bring 5 to it. It's kind of weird. Um, so Persona 5 basically. It's about this guy who's like a small town. Well not small town. He's from a big big town. And he comes to live with his, I think it's his uncle. Um, and a bunch of stuff starts happening, man. I mean, his, some of the people around town keep disappearing and then they find they be dying. And it's a thing with this TV and uh, it, it, it's really, really, really good. I've put in like maybe 40, 45 hours into it and I'm not even nowhere halfway near done with this game. I think it's like over at least 100 hours worth of gameplay in this thing. Um, you get to go to class, you get to uh build up relationships with people which helps you with um evolving your personas which are very 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 hard to do you know what i'm saying you have to grind on here like i am stuck on shadow teddy i've been stuck on shadow teddy for the longest i put it down and i just not picked it back up because it was getting irritating um so yeah number one game right here so far that i have actually played persona 4 golden must buy um so next up killzone mercenaries um, this is a game that if you actually seriously want to pick up a shooter, do not pick up Call of Duty. I would say do not pick up Unit 13. This is the hands down best shooter, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the system. Killzone Mercenaries. It's by the, I think Killzone, what was it? No, it's by Gorilla Cambridge, which is the other section of Gorilla Games who made Killzone Shadowfall. Um... And this is, to my, like, in my opinion, one of the best, like, multiplayers, too. And I think my boy Breezy will tell you. I haven't really got to get into the multiplayer yet because I haven't really been playing it like that. But I'm going to get back into it probably tomorrow or tonight, probably. Um, I played a little bit of the multiplayer, and it's really fucking fun. It's really good to be for a Vita game. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really, really freaking good. Um, so if you want to pick up an FPS, if you're an SP FPS type of person, and you're really looking for one for the Vita... Kills on mercenaries. Really, really good. And if you got PlayStation Plus, play online. Online is really good too. Like I said, my boy Breezy T Breezy TV, aka Prince Kazama. You know what I'm saying? Check out his channel. He's very good, like up on this game right here. He loves his multiplayer. So that's number two. Um let's see. I'm gonna pick Rat and Rock Odyssey. Rat and Rock Odyssey. This is a RPG. Let's see if I can. And yeah, this is an RPG for me. Um, and it's really, it's really, really fun. I had to, I really had to get into it. 
I haven't gotten into it. I caught it, even though that's on there. I caught it on sale. It was like 20-something bucks when I caught it. Um, but it, on the sticker, it had new, but it's, it, I didn't get a new. Uh, I think after I get a little further into Persona, I'm going to actually hop back on this. You know what I'm saying? But for an RPG, it's really colorful. Like, the colors really pop out at you. Um, it's a lot of knights and stuff like that. Sword play against mystical monsters and stuff. This is, this is a really dope game. I don't know if it had multiplayer or not, but it does, for story-wise, it's pretty good so far that I've played of. Um, it's really, 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 really fun. So, next up. Some of my top two games this year um, that I wanted to play for the, for the Vita that came out in Japan. One, this right here, Dragon's Crown. Um, this is the same. This is by the same people who made um, well, this is Atlas, of course. But the same people who made this within Atlas made Miramasa. I haven't tried Miramasa yet. Um, a lot of people telling me that Miramasa is the truth. So that's one game that I'm probably gonna buy sometime next year, uh, when the price goes down on it. Cause that price is still high, probably because it's probably a good game. Um. But Dragon's Crown is like a RPG mixed with a hack and slash uh, type of gameplay. It's 2D uh, side scroller, beautiful like beautiful graphics. Like er, like for the like this is one of the best looking games on the Vita that I have played. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's really 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 good. Like this is a game that you can give somebody, and it's not hard depending on what character you pl you play with. You know what I'm saying it's not really hard, but the story is a little iffy. But this is really a game about gameplay and grinding. Um, it's a grinding RPG. You know what I'm saying? They just added, I think, an update to this too for another another dungeon, some more dragons, and it's it's pretty damn fun. Um, this is a game I was on for a good little while. I don't even know how far I am in it, but um, it's co-op. But um, you can't play with people on the PS3. That's the only downfall of this game. It is not cross-play. It is cross-save, however. You can buy it for the PS3 and the Vita, and you can switch back and forth between the game saves. But you can't play with PS3 players. But I think they're going to patch that in. Um, but they sh if it would have been like that at the beginning of the year, yeah, this would have been a huge, a way better seller than it was. But it did sell pretty well, and I think it's going to be it sold enough to have a part two. So this is a great game for the Vita. Lastly... Uh, for the games that I do have on me, Soul Sacrifice. Now this this shit pissed me off because I had got so far in the game that I thought of. I had got pretty damn far, and I saved over my damn saved <laughs> over my saved game. How how dumb can you be? So I had to start over. So I had got real discouraged and put it down for a while. But I'm gonna pick it back up soon enough. Um, cause it's actually a really good game. Um, the story is pretty damn good. Um, once you start getting into it and you start understanding it, um, it's pretty, it's pretty damn good. Um, the gameplay wise, uh, it's pretty good. Graphically, I think they could have did a whole lot better with this game graphically, but it's with, within, like, and, and also they need to upgrade a lot more of the boards. Um, they need way more boards in here because you see the same boards over and over again. It start it started to be repetitive a little bit. Um, but you can build upon your character. It's kind of like Monster Hunter, but with without all of the weapons and stuff. It's more like sorcery. It's a lot of stuff you can. You, it's 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 kind of like Monster Hunter. It's like a it's like a, a a version of Monster Hunter without all the swords. Where you take out the swords and you add sorcery to it. Um, it's real deep. It's highly deep. Um, but yeah, that is Soul Sacrifice. And there's one game that I got that I can't show y'all yet because it's a Christmas present and I will I'll be doing an unboxing for y'all tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, now for some of the digital titles that I've played on here, which is on my Vita. Um, one that I'm actually playing right now is a uh, Mutant Muds. You know what I'm saying? Mutant Muds is really really dope. Uh, let me see if I can focus it. Mute Muds, you know what I'm saying? Game right there. It is really, really dope. It is a... It, it, to me, it feels like a Mario Mario type of game. Like, early Nintendo days. Um, really, really dope. Also, um, there is Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is highly, highly, highly good. 
And I think if you have PlayStation Plus or you're getting it, this is one of the games you need to get because it's in the instant collection. It's really, really good. Um, it's, it's really, really, really good. Um, another game, uh, Rayman Origins. It's really good, too. You know what I'm saying? Rayman Origins is really good. I heard Rayman um, Legends is out. It's coming for the Vita, I think. Um, and it's coming for the PS4, too, if I'm not mistaken. So that's another game I think a lot of people should get. Um, let's see. Yeah. Rayman Origins. Um, let's see, another game. Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is fucking hard. It's a hard-ass game, but it's fun. Um... It's kind of like a, a the, the early Grand Theft Autos where you have the top down view and you just killing people, man. Um, but it's it's real fun. A uh, Hotline Miami Two is coming. They already uh, put that out there that it's coming for uh, Vita next year sometime. So yeah, pretty good game. Um, so yeah, yeah, fixed So yeah. All in all, those are the games that I would suggest that you get. You know what I'm saying? I might have missed some. If I did, y'all put them down in the comments below. Um, tell me what games would you, would you, would you, would you get for your Vita? You know what I'm saying? I had to fix the thing. Don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to holler at y'all.